City of Kennewick to talk about our cross connection control program today and the reason we want to do that is for our safety of our citizens having a bad cross connection can actually make people very sick so we want to get that message out and, uh, and a cross connection going another direction into our KID lines can also cause customers to have water bills that can add up to thousands of dollars so we really want to get the message out on what that's about and how they can protect themselves. So I have Pat Everham today, and Pat, if you can just tell us a little bit about our cross, our cross connection control program. You bet. Uh, cross connection control program is a. It has a lot of regulations and laws involved with it about what we have to do as a city. But the most important part, as Evelyn had mentioned, is really what we're trying to do is protect our citizens. There are several aspects of a cross connect program of, of the type of protection you have and what actually triggers when you need to have a cross connect. Um, with that, we do have our uh, CrossConnect specialist, Ed Melville, who's with us, and, and we have certified individuals that come out and will be looking at this program and making that assessment of what needs to be done. Um, basically, uh, CrossConnect program is a way of isolating potable water from non-potable water. And what that means is, is that anything that would be unsafe to drink that you wouldn't want to have it coming out of your sink or, or showering with, we have these uh, devices that protect us from that. <clears throat> Part of that is making sure these devices work correctly and what we do is at least once a year they have to come out and they, they have these tested and that's just assuring that they were put in correctly and that they are doing the job that they're intended to do. I'm with Ed Melville who's our cross connection specialist and Ed if I'm a homeowner and I have both a KID irrigation supply and my city water drinking supply is this the type of assembly that I should have at my home and if so why is that important? Absolutely. If you're going to use KID water or CID water, non-potable irrigation water and city water, you must have a backflow device that looks like this. This device allows water to go one direction only into your irrigation system and will not allow it to come back. It will discharge out to the ground prior to coming back into our system. That's a safety mechanism that this device provides. One key factor is that you cannot have your city potable water and your irrigation water valves on at the same time. One it overpressured the other, and there's a chance that this valve or this water will go into the KID line at your expense. It's critical in the springtime to make sure that the valve in the back is off when you turn this valve on. And you could even hang a little sign on here that says, Don't forget to shut my valve off in the backyard prior to turning this on. And we can head to the backyard and I can show you where the, the KID water comes into the yard and we'll get from there. Okay, here we are in the backyard, and I'll show you what the irrigation assembly looks like. They're typically in a box back in the corner. This is your non-potable irrigation water that looks something similar to this. This is the valve I was speaking of. If you're going to use irrigation water, this valve will be open. The valve we were talking about out front will be off. It's critical that in the springtime, in the fall when they blow these out, they open this valve up. And it's critical that in the springtime, before they use their city water for irrigation, we close this valve. This is where you're going to be losing your money going into the KID line right here. So they both can't be open at the same time. Real simple, straightforward. It's one or the other. It's not both. So Pat, we've taken a look at this homeowner's assemblies, both from the city of Kennewick side of the water and the Kennewick irrigation side of the water. But can you give us some tips and, and things that customers need to know about, uh, about our cross connection control program? You bet, I'd love to. Um, the main thing about the Cross Connect program that you can do for yourself and for the citizens of Kennewick is just to become aware of what the program is and what the requirements are. Uh, we have experts on staff. We've got Ed Melville and we've also got Dan Rogers who work for the city of Kennewick. They can answer any question that you may have if you're concerned about, about something you see out in the field or something with your own system that you want to clarify and make sure you're doing it right and protecting yourself and those around. Uh, please call 585-4419. Uh, you can get a hold of us through that number, and, and we'll have somebody come out, take a look at it, make sure we're doing the right thing, protect us. If you see anything at your neighbor's house that looks like it may be just not right, that something may be happening to the water system, 
just give us a call. It's, it's not telling on your neighbors. It's just giving us an opportunity to come out and take a look and protect it. We're not out to try to hammer anybody or, or treat anybody in a bad way. We just want to make sure that everybody's safe. We'll come out, we'll talk to individuals, and we'll try to explain exactly why it is that we're doing this and what we need to do to, to make sure we've got a safe system for everybody. Well, thank you, Pat and Ed. It was very important for us to, today to get the message out about the city's cross-connection control program. Number one is the safety of our citizens and our drinking water supply. The city of Kennewick has exceptional services in the water quality we deliver to our citizens, and we are very concerned about maintaining that high quality and keeping our, keeping our citizens safe. And so we really appreciate you getting this message out about this program. We also have information on our webpage. It's www.gotokennewick.com. That's G-O and it's the number two, kennewick.com. And we have information about our cost control program on there as well. That's in addition, if there's any questions ever about backflow assemblies and the cross connection program to contact 585-4419. Thank you.